New tonight at 11, solving cold cases here in the Las Vegas Valley. It is a topic of discussion at the Mob Museum this week. And tonight I show you how DNA testing advancements are bringing breakthroughs in these once unsolved crimes. Justice is not always immediate for the loved ones of victims. But in recent years, thanks to advancements in DNA technology, Las Vegas Metro Police detectives are finding new leads to help solve cold cases. Even in the last four or five years, there's been advances. It continues to get better and better. Touch DNA is, is now to the point where we can make identification. Detective Terry Miller with LVMPD says in the last year, Metro has been able to solve three cases. And in the last three years, it's been a total of six. Now we turn to forensics and by those forensics, which is a much better technology, uh, we're able to at least generate leads in some of these old cases where DNA was never even originally worked because they didn't even know what it was. Back in February, Metro solved the killing of Pearl Ingram, whose body was found inside a dumpster behind a grocery store on East Charleston in 1994. Eddie Snowden Jr., who died in 2017, was identified as a killer. Ingram's sister, Teresa Board, talks about what it means to get some justice. It's kind of like a, a happy sad. You're happy that you know what happened to give you closure, but once again, it brings up the fact that someone took away a family member, and no one has that right. DNA testing helped identify Snowden as a suspect, thanks in part to help from a company called Othram. Othram is a private laboratory in Texas which helps police departments across the country solve cold cases. And we're able to help solve quite a few cold cases that were there. Um, and we continue to build relationships in the area. Dr. Kristen Middleman with Othram says they've been working with Metro for about two and a half years. Middleman says a few years ago, they didn't have the technology to use burnt remains to help solve crimes, but now they can. It's a ripple effect. And knowing that every time we get an answer, someone um, is able to turn that chapter in their lives and is able to know the truth about what happened and is able to move on, that's huge. Funding from the Vegas Justice League makes this partnership possible. Justin Wu with the Justice League says they will sponsor certain cases. We sponsor the $5,000 um, contribution that goes to the DNA reevaluation. But Metro and the Justice League are now preparing for a panel discussion at the Mob Museum on Tuesday. The event will look at the tech advancements when it comes to DNA testing to solve cold cases. These recent advancements in the last, I want to say, few years, like we started this in 2020, three years ago, have been amazing. The program at the Mob Museum will give insight on the advancements and the new tools that are helping solve these crimes. Metro Police and the Justice League say they're constantly working to help give loved ones of victims the justice they deserve. And at LV Metro specifically, they have one of the highest cold case close rates in the nation. And being able to provide that closure to families, it's something that law enforcement isn't forgetting about. But I try to put myself in their shoes and I would want someone to move heaven and earth to make sure that they did not give up in trying to find who did this. And the Mob Museum is hosting the panel discussion, Mystery Solved, How Tech Changed the Game for Cold Case Detectives. That's tomorrow at 7 p.m. Investigator Terry Miller and Justin Wu with the Justice League will be a part of the event. We'll be right back.